Hi, this is Shiva Rajaya from VitalCoaching.com. We are talking about vital sex and tantric sex. And the topic for this video is sexual ecstasy. I want to expand on this because this is what we are aiming for. This is what is going to happen when you start engaging into tantric sex. You will reach states of energetic bliss that will blow your mind. It literally opens channels of energy inside of you that suddenly bring you into this state of oneness where you feel love for absolutely everything on this planet. Your mind is super activated, your, your uh, third eye chakra is blossoming with, uh, with beauty and, uh, and clarity, your heart is exploding. You know, <laughs> we are talking about some solid mystical experience that sometimes through uh, the use of other techniques like meditation or prayer or a different form of, uh, of sadhanas, um, it might take years and years to, uh, to, to access. So um, when you start engaging with sexual energy, what happens is that you activate lots of juice and lots of power and lots of energy because lots of emotions are there you know the the sexual fire the sexual energy is something that very often in 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 humans will be trapped it will be locked under layers of guilt and shame and suppression and it's not necessarily free and so because of all this suppression and all this uh, shame and guilt and traumatic experiences very often it's locked in the genitals and then every now and then there is a nice orgasmic experience that just goes like boop and it lasts for a few seconds and, and it retreats. So it doesn't go to a, to a full body experience because um, your body hasn't been necessarily trained to do that. So the moment you start activating energy sex, the moment you start tapping into tantric sex, what happens is that your whole energetic space expands. You engage emotions and feelings and aspects of your mind that were not engaged before you engage parts of your body that were simply locked and not really trained and activated on a sensual level you engage your five senses you you use uh, speech hearing taste visuals you know it's like it's a multi-dimensional experience and then when you start engaging in that direction then suddenly the the, the bliss experiences, the ecstatic experience that you enter into, instead of just being a peak, a few seconds experience, they become ecstatic states of being that are sustained on the long term. And all you have to do once you activate and you cross the line of ecstasy, is just to keep on activating every now and then, you know, uh, through a regular practice. And then it becomes your natural state of being. It means that you're in a state of joy and happiness and, and uh, you, you keep on practicing and activating your energy body so that you really reach that state of bliss. You know, if you are a yogi and you have been practicing Hatha Yoga for a long time, you will notice that when you enter into pose, there is a sensation of pleasure and juice. The same with other forms of sports. You know, sometimes you might go jogging and you realize that after 20 minutes, it feels like you enter into a state of um, jogging trance where the spirit comes in and it feels like your, your practice taken over, that it's no longer you jogging, that there is something happening there which is a natural flow and this is exhilarating. You enter into this this, this ecstatic um, state where, where your mind, your thoughts, your beliefs, your, your worries are being dissolved, you, you, you enter into a state of freedom just because you're activating your, your, physical, your physical body. So when you do that, you activate your, your sexual energy and you bring in all these juice into your life. Oh my, it's, it's, it's just a massive expansion of of your consciousness and then you learn how to go into that state and sustain that state and then it's like all this energy that you can use to engage in all sorts of creative projects that you might have and start really um, you know boosting your life impacting on your environment and and use that as a creative flow and creative power because sexual energy is your most uh, basic uh, creative juice. This is how we create bodies, right? This is how nature uh, generates uh, new human beings through using our sexual energy. If it wasn't for sexual energy, our ability to, to flow energy through our, our genitals, there would be no life, right? So it is extremely, an extremely powerful source of life, energy, bliss juice that you can start activating straight away and this is why 
we consider tantric sex sacred because when you are entering into the state of energetic ecstasy, it is really a mystical experience. You, you know, some people will have experienced that, maybe you did, you know, to really feel like you experience God through sex. That at one point, the, you know, the expansion of your consciousness and the sensations that you are going to experience just merge you with life, merge you with humankind, they merge you with the planet and suddenly you are in a state of total unified bliss. And so this is where, you know, mystics and uh, tantricas come together because uh, it is one and same thing, except that with, with the tantric sex energy and activating the tantric sex energy, we are engaging, consciously engaging our sexual energy rather than suppressing it and trying to lock it in, uh, in, in the way that happens in so many spiritual traditions. So tantric tradition will be trying to include uh, both the lights and the shadows, the aspect that you are not too uh, comfortable with, you know, and especially the sexual energy is one of these aspects in life where there might be lots of shadows trapped there. So you liberate that energy, you start directing it and using it in conscious ways, and then you explode into a state of ecstasy. And here is the thing, okay? It is something to practice. You need to be smart. What I'm giving you here are hints, mindsets, tactics, strategies, because it's a little bit of um, a training and sometimes a little bit of a, an energetic battle that you're engaging into to access those states. Once you start tapping into sexual ecstasy, it is, you know, it is gold, it is juice, it is a nectar, it is amrita, it is one of the most powerful experiences that you can have as a human being. Enjoy.